invite you over to my house. You know where I live. I cooked you dinner. I wanted what? to invite you over and us to watch a movie. I put in wow. effort to actually try to get to know you and got to wow. break down that barrier. I put in all this effort for a side hug. Tana, did you like her? Mission over here like, great, can't wait. I'll hit you up. She said she'll hit me up. <laughs> Yet, oh, here we are, what? days later. What's good, you two? It's your boy, Kevin, man. Back again, another video. I was reacting today, Balloon Pop. Um, they was a met. She was very excited. Um, He liked the anime. She liked the anime. She was very excited. She started dancing, like, ooh, up on my match. Simple. Let's see what's going on. Mully. And then they went to the catch up, and now we're finding out what happened after the catch up. So where how, are they now? Where are they now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So just like you said, we had them on Pop Sub the Balloon. Two. We had yep. them on a follow up, and now we have them here today on BM Talks to them. Welcome Chandler and Mishna. What's hey, up? Hey, hey. What's up? <laughs> she look way better than the balloon pop. Simple. She got her hair dig, got a little makeup on. Kudos to her. Ain't it like she slimmed down a little bit? Am I tweaking? Comment down below. Is it like she slimmed down? You do the me. How you both doing? How pretty, you pretty, doing? Pretty, it's been girl. a while. Yeah. Now nah, I'm chilling. Same old, same old. You know what I'm saying? Just still out here, staying hydrated, still. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Employed, still just living, <laughs> still. You know what I'm saying? Just you know taking it one step at a time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, chilling. Good. Mishnah, how about you? I've been doing pretty good. I've really just been getting better at my career. I've been hosting a couple of events with my job. Um, okay, okay. I've also been, actually, if I'm being completely honest, I've been thinking about getting into um, stand-up. So that's something I've been kind of really? working on, just trying to get the beginnings of it. Hold Nobody's on. perfect, so I'm going to make mistakes. But that's hard. it's really a new journey for me, actually. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Nice. Yeah, so, so, guys, I just want to ask, right, um, how was you... Both of your experience being on Pop the Real or Find Love. Yeah, it was decent. It was decent. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna it say was good. Like, it was just yeah. our episode. You yeah. said it was just the what? <laughs> it, it was a good experience. Uh -huh. It was just our episode. It was just mm -hmm. our our episode was our experience, and I felt like I had a good experience, me personally. Simple, man. I gotta give a compliment, man. She looking good. She looking good. She look way better than in her episode, bro. Simple. She look pretty. She All right. So her. as we saw, we ended our follow up kind of, I think, on a good note. You know, you guys said you were still dating, getting to know each other, weren't really rushing into anything. Um, and you know, all the comments and the viewers were like, oh my God, I'm rooting for them. Like people loved you guys, uh, from the show to the follow up. And now we're just dying to know yeah, what's like, going on. Yeah. They're definitely like fans favorites. You know, uh -huh. people really are rooting for you too. They're like, yeah, those two are so too, cute. Man. Anime couple, you know, <laughs> everybody just want to hear like, how's it going? Are you two, are you working out? So tell us, let us know what's going on. Let's start with Mishnah. Cause I, um, I'm getting some faces over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, me personally, I feel like when we ended off on our follow-up video, oh my God. I felt like when we left, I felt like we were good. Okay. And I've had suspicions about certain things. Those certain things were, honestly, if I'm being completely transparent, I never really liked the fact how during our follow-up um video i mean our like you asked me has everything how you guys doing have you guys have any issues is anything going on i vocalized and i said i felt like he talks a lot he talks over me that's what i said in that episode Dang. and when i looked back at it i didn't th i didn't think anything of it and instead of i felt like there was just lack of accountability mm. this is just my opinion and i felt like it was more or less just like instead of saying well i didn't mean to make her feel that way it was more or less like Oh, no, I definitely don't talk over her. Mm -hmm. And when I kind of go through our conversations and when we would go on FaceTime, it was something that when it comes to me bringing up situations or me expressing how I'm feeling, sometimes I get pushed back. That's, okay. again, how I'm personally feeling because it's more or less just the fact that when it comes to me talking and dating and doing stuff like that, mm -hmm. I know exactly what I want. I know what my goals are. I know exactly what I'm looking for. And I, me being, again, Haitian, I was raised in a household where my opinion and my voice didn't matter. Mm. Sit there, stay, don't talk. You're not allowed to have an opinion. Even 23, stay in a child's place. And I'm just like, okay, that's something I just don't want with my significant other. I want someone to acknowledge how I'm feeling. And even if we don't agree, take it into consideration. And I just didn't that's fair, that's fair. feel that. I just... 
I didn't feel any sort of like, mm. I didn't feel any sort of like affection. Mm. Like there's being, there's a difference between going on a date with someone and being cordial than you showing a, that you have affection for someone. Like yeah. you can, everyone knows how it feels when someone is attracted to them, when someone really wants to be with them. You can feel that love. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't feel it. Dang. Okay. okay. Wow. Chandra? <laughs> No, nah, she's, I, I'm not even, hey, she, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I, I, I understand, I understand where she's coming from. You know what I mean? I'll keep it a buck. That's, that's pretty true. At the same time, though, Mishnah it goes both ways. You understand what I'm saying? Right? And I told you in the beginning, I was like, yo, I'm actually tired of dating women where it's like, I'm the one who has to pour out all this love all this affection and all this energy and i don't get nothing in return you know what i mean what? so we did talk about that and then the crazy part is you guys to segue into what truly happened is right we agreed on hey you know uh when you get off work go ahead facetime me you know what i mean we'll catch up you feel me and just talk right mission over here like great can't wait i'll hit you up she said she'll hit me up. <laughs> Yet here we are what? days later, right? Dude. Uh, no text back. No. Hey, my bad Chandler. You know what I'm saying? Fell asleep or, oh, hey, Chandler. Sorry. Lost track of time. Whatever. Mm. Right. So I finally hit her up because, again, I'm seeing Instagram live after Instagram live after TikTok. So I'm like, mm. OK, you're on TikTok. You got time to talk to randos on Instagram live. But. The person you match with, you don't FaceTime back, you don't hit back, you don't, you know what I mean? So it's just uh, like, for you to be okay. like, oh, I wasn't getting any sort of affection from Buddy, when you literally ghosted the kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was literally reaching out to you, I would hit you up every morning, wow. you know that. Not like every morning, but no. consistently every other day, like, no. hey, how's it going? Hey, you down to FaceTime later? And you'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm down, right? So for you to be like, there's no affection there. There was no nothing. See, that's cap. That's, that's what he messing up. Hey, what you doing at seven? I ain't doing nothing. All right, let's FaceTime at seven. I'm calling you. Simple. You know what I'm saying? Take that lead, my boy. Cap on that. I'll take it's the lead. It's crazy how you say you're a fraud analyst, but you can't even smell your own bull that you're serving mm. up on the platter. Because here's crazy. the thing with that is, is mm. that the phone works both ways, Chandler. It works both ways. And I'm not talking mm -hmm. about when you say, like, you give your heart out. Do you have to give out all this affection? Like, you want to be extra and be like, oh, all this affection. That That's why I don't like dating women. How about some affection? I'm not asking for, like, I'm not asking for the minimum, which is, like, roses. I'm not asking just some affection. Like, hey, I miss you. Like, where have you been? Like, instead of you even, you didn't even address, you didn't even contact me at all. Cause I'm sorry, Chandler. I'm not gonna. Cause you, you said you would. Why do I need to have to hound you to contact me? You didn't That's hound the point I'm trying to get across. Okay, I I'm talking about that. I'm 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 bullshit. Like, come on, fam. I don't want to have to hound you, Mishnah. I told you. But like you're a grown so, woman you so said chandler that. chandler so this happened once uh no there was another time where she did hit me back like yo i i fell asleep that's my bad i was like hey you're good it happens thanks for at least hitting me back up but then the other time okay. like i said it was just like dang okay you the literally pattern, said you would contact pattern, me it's me you know? hitting you up it's me reaching out it's me doing this it's me doing that like I because you're the one that said I'm doing? off late. Okay, so get off again, late. Mishnah, it's, I, I have to read what? your mind. Oh, Mishnah is approximately off at 9:38 oh, p.m. Read the text message. You literally like I will hit you up when I'm off. Again, Mishnah, I'm not hounding you, bro. It's not. We're not doing that. You know what I mean? So this is why we got into this weird disagreement because you you want me to do things that I, I'm not going to be doing. Like you, you, if you said you're going to hit me up, you got to do it. I'm not going to sit here and be like, uh, Mishnah, you, you didn't hit me up. What happened? Uh, Mishnah, what, what's going on? You said you, like, we're not, you said you're a grown woman. Okay, so well, a grown woman, hey, I'm going to hit you back. I and apologize. That's the difference between someone who's genuinely uh. interested in someone and someone's not. You could have had every opportunity for almost like, what? It was almost a full month until you reached out with, you reached out to me. Wow. You could have hit me up as well within that time. I will take accountability for not reaching out but as someone who's always putting in the effort in my opinion like i'm always the one apologizing i'm the only always the one explaining in this time third and you have every right to feel how you feel 
but you doing all this extra stuff, there's no reason for you to act like this. You could just literally just talk. I did. And then you said, I <laughs> do not wish to continue this. And I was yeah. like, oh, okay. The way well, you addressed me. Say, I can't say what I can't say. You know what I mean? Because the way, so the way you like... addressed me was disrespectful. The way you addressed me was disrespectful. So, so what did he mm. say? What did he so say? So basically how we started the conversation. And if you want, I could send you guys, or Chandler, if you want to send the message to make sure that I'm not being messy or anything you could send them over to them so they could see it so they can read it when he um almost over when it was almost a full month since we haven't reached out to each other wow. it was more or less yo what's good i haven't heard back from you you're too busy to go out you i see you going on live what i just said yeah, yeah we're live what I just said. Yeah. To me. if what? i haven't heard back from someone in that long and that's the energy what? you're what? immediately coming what? to me with i'm sorry i'm not going to continue this. You're not going to talk to me like that. Like, well, we, and how I responded back to you. Well, good morning. How have you been? It's just, it's just, it's curt. It's, I'm not going to, I'm not going to continue with someone who's going to address me like that. That's just not how, that's just not how it's going to so go. The, the last uh, time you guys spoke was when you said you were going to call him after you got off work and then you didn't. And then that was just the end of it. Like you guys didn't speak again. Yeah, I, honestly, transparently, I wanted to see if he was going to reach out, and he never did until mm. almost a month later. That's if crazy. Really the same thing. Me, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, hmm, let's see if Mishnah will actually reach back. So, so, I so guys, so, so guys, so, so, so guys, so, <laughs> so, so both, so both of you were b was basically playing, playing a game. Playing the um, same damn game. I just yeah. can't take how he's just making everything. <laughs> he trying to laugh it like, um, can, can, can I can I say something? Who can I say something? Um, sorry, sorry to cut you. Um, Chandler, it seems like um, do you normally chase a girl or do you also you know do you do you want to be chased? No, I we always do the chasing but at the same time you know how tiring that is to be chasing and chasing and chasing. So you chase like, so so you're saying that you chased her a uh, lot and um she was tired of it she it wasn't, wasn't even necessarily i was chasing her it was just mutual that's what i was saying but at the same time it's just like what i said at the end of that text though i was like you didn't have to end it like that mishna that's mm. what was so awkward about this like again we're adults all you had to say was just like ah you know what dude like it's just not because really i want to put i want someone else like, to put in the effort right. every time the same effort i'm putting back in i just honestly felt like I liked you more than you liked me. Is that is uh, um? Can you answer that question, please, Chandler? Like, she said she felt like she liked you I, more. So, did you like her as much? You know, as much at as she any might. Point. Because I you know, invited you over to my house. You know where I live. I cooked you dinner. I wanted what? to invite you over and us to watch a movie. I put in wow. effort to actually try to get to know you and got to wow. break down that barrier. And I, after you left, I felt like I didn't get anywhere. I put in all this effort for a side hug. Tana, did you like her? You know, <laughs> I felt when she picked me. Look at the dude. And this is from just how I felt about it. It wasn't necessarily out of, oh, I like Chandler because he's Chandler. It's, I like Chandler because I'm going to take pity and everyone else kind of popped their balloon. Cap. So I'm going to just keep. But let's cap. But I just watched it. I just did a reaction to it. Oh, yeah. I just did a reaction to it. So if you haven't seen it. Go to my recent video, my last video, you're gonna see it. Simple. But she said, I really like him. I really like him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when they walk up to the front, I really like him. And then she was like, Here, you can have my balloon. You feel me? So, and then look at her face. So, he, she know that's Cap too. Dang. Everyone else kind of popped their balloon. So, I'm gonna just keep it and just, hey, just see where this, right? So, I necessarily really didn't feel like on both ends, we really like liked each other like that it was necessarily just like hey let's just he get out of this ends. gracefully <laughs> and call it a day so we you went on four dates you didn't like her. <laughs> four right. dates. she said saying. she said that she wow. was into you if i didn't like a man would i inv give any man my address would i let them sh see that i don't even know where Facts. you live Ooh. I haven't even met your parents. You know what my parents look like. You've Ooh. seen my house. You've been in my Ooh. home. I put in. I don't know what your parents look like, but I, I, I've been. Yes, home, you did. You, you came into my kitchen and you looked at my the picture that I have in my uh, my kitchen. You said, "Oh, is that your family? You guys have a cute like you guys make a good family. This is you a nice picture. That. Don't act like you haven't been. Oh, yeah, I say all that. And you don't remember. See, and that's what I'm talking about. A man who genuinely cares mm. about me and actually wants to build something. Mm. And I know what it's like when a man is attracted to me mm. and it's not giving that it's just not it's not give 
and I'm not gonna do all the extras. That's she just it's plain to see. So yeah. kind of to go back to um, the show, uh, Chandler. So she was, I, I believe, Mission, you were the last up. one with your balloon up. left unpopped. So Chandler, did you feel like you had it to go with her? Or do you feel like if you, like, did you feel like you had to go with her instead of popping her balloon? Yeah. Why? Honestly, I just, it, it just would have been a move if I was like, all right, I'm going to just pop your so, balloon. So wait, right so, so you picked her oh, wow. from pressure of the show? A little bit. A little bit, yeah. Mm. I'll admit that. Oh, why, admit did, that. why did you do that? Hey, what the heck? He just said she did that. So how you do that? <laughs> What's going on, man? You know, like I said, it was just the last one. I, I didn't want to just be like, oh, well, you know, hey, let me just pop it. Just to, I was just like, all right, sure. Let's go. Let's we'll so, do the so, date. So so get out of here. So wow. you said okay at that time wow. you didn't want to feel like you was being a jerk, but how do you feel right now? Ooh, good question. Good question. A little bit of a jerk, you know. I I, I do understand that you know from Mishnah's standpoint, she was really looking for love. Like I said, I I I kind of was, but then I saw you know the show and everyone was there, and I was just like, okay, this I'll, I'll just do it just to do it. But what I, you knew I what you signed up for? Find love. What? No, I know, I know. Like I said, I went there initially to find love, but then I was just like, okay, I don't think this this is the crazy how I, I don't think this is how I want to find love. Right? I, see, see, that's people' problem, male and female. People want they type. People want what they like. Sometimes that person that's meant to be your wife or your husband, sometimes it don't be what you like, but it's what God wants. So that's when people need to put God first. And God, if this the girl you want for me, show me that. Show me she cares. Show me, she, you know, genuinely like me, genuinely trying to be with me. And then your love for her is going to genuinely grow because that's what God wants. So whatever God wants is already written. It's going to happen. Would you like it or not? Wow. I dressed you about it and I asked you. I gave you an opportunity for an exit. I asked you. I was like, hey, maybe it's just me, but I feel like you're not attracted to me. If I'm really looking for someone I could build with, if you're not interested, please let me know. Confirm mm -hmm. or deny. Mm -hmm. I did say that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, I'm definitely interested. I definitely want to continue this. And honestly, she got listening to you say she this now, I felt like now looking back at it, you made me feel crazy for not thinking that you, that, oh, he does like me. Maybe this is just how he is. But you, wow. you picked me out of pity. And when you just Ooh. said, oh, that I picked you out of pity, but then you ended up picking me I'll out of pity. No, I actually liked you. I actually liked you. I enjoyed spending time with you. I think you, I thought you were smart. I thought you were different from the crowd. Stupid. You, I'd rather then why, you then, have then why didn't you hit it back? Because she can Come tell on, you man. didn't like her. Come on, man. I'd rather you would pop up. my balloon See, he in front up. of everybody he and up. I could have walked away with my head held high than mm. coming back here and listening to this. Mm. Are you scared? Okay. She wasted time. Continue. She wasted Continue. time. No. Um, so, Chandler, obviously, at this moment right now, Dang. do you have anything to say to Mish now? Say I'm sorry, bro. No. Dang. You know, I... That we, ego. Ego. We said what we needed to say. You know, okay. I apologize you be a for man. wasting your time. Okay, there you right. go. There you go. There uh, you go. Be a man, bro. So you said, uh, you, I, said, you, said, you said you don't have nothing to say, but you just said you apologize. Yeah, right, yeah. Time. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, so you apologize. See? So do you acknowledge that what you did? Let's do it backwards. It's messed up. Right. Backwards. Yeah. Backwards. Yeah. He got to work on himself mentally. Bro. All right. Okay. Mentally, bro. Do you have any questions for them? No, I mean, they, they, they cleared the air, really. Yeah. So this was the first time you guys were able to really like speak and get down to like the truth. Yeah, because yeah. I basically just ended it off like blank like that, and he didn't yeah. he didn't reach out. I didn't reach out. So basically, if I didn't call any of you, we just would have been the end of just, it. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, people people ask me about it all the time. My mm. DMs flooded. My Instagram flooded. My mm. TikTok flooded. My Facebook. People find me on Facebook <laughs> flooded. Not even my dad's asking me questions Damn. about it. I'm like, okay. Facebook is crazy. That's just for family. This is enough. <laughs> this is oh, enough. So, yeah, like my dad's i I'm like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I just, I just. No, I mean, I, I do hope that, um, I hope the best for you both. She like and, anime, um, bro. You like anime. Right? And, um, you was excited about Yeah, this that. is, it's sad to end like this <laughs> because, happened? you know, on the catch up, people really, really did he messed like up, you guys. Right? Yeah. And they thought that yeah. this was a, this was a very, you know, right. a good couple. But, you know, to be fair, there were comments that kind of called out a few things. Like there were some mm. people saying like, mm, 
I'm not getting romantic vibes from them. I'm getting friendship vibes. There that's, were a few that's, comments like that. That's kind of what I wanted to touch on, and that's why, like, I kind of, I guess, dragged it out mm-hmm. was because I was talking to one of my coworkers, and she was like. You know, I kind of thought the same thing about my boyfriend. I didn't really like him. I didn't really show him any attention. He playing the game wrong. He playing the game wrong. Once you already got the girl, you don't have to do all that no more. <laughs> he didn't know that. <laughs> when you trying to get her, when you trying to get her, y'all y'all killed all that doing the uh, balloon pop. Now you know she wants you because you did the balloon pop. You ain't have to, hey, can I get your number? Hey, this, this, this. Hey, you want to go on some dates? She already did the balloon pop. She invited you to the crib. She cooked for... Come on, bro. He's still trying to play that role. And that's that... See, that... See, y'all got to pay attention, man. That's the red pill thing. The red pill... In 2018, I was 23. And I... You know, the red pill stuff was going around. I'm doing my research. And the red pill stuff does make sense. Simple. But once you get that red pill knowledge, you got to use it correctly. It's for... To help men realize what's really going on. And use it for your advantage. Not because you like... The feeling of somebody chasing you play the book so you win and if you win she wins a lot of n words they don't know she was raised with both her parents you could tell and then she from a different country or her parents from a different country so they got a little more structure and culture to them you missed out bro and i ain't gonna lie she kind of flexing on you with the makeup got the hair did, did, did. yeah she looked she looked different she looked different way different from the get-go so <laughs> he missed out on his wife dude that's crazy that's crazy work that's crazy work. He missed out on the, on the genuine somebody trying to. She know what she want, bro. It's that's rare. If she was the baddest thing, I promise you, he would have been on her, chasing, chasing. When he was like, yeah, I'm pouring, I'm pouring energy, I'm pouring. That's because, bro, <laughs> they don't want you. You don't pour energy into somebody that don't want you, bro. The girl I went now, we about to be. It's about to be two years, bro. And she don't know, but I'm about to marry her next year. Simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple. So we could do stuff the right way. But I didn't like her. I didn't like I didn't like my girl, bro. Like, well, you know what I'm saying? We lame. I ain't gonna put business out there, but feel me. She was a cool little homie. She showed me something I never even felt, never even seen from a female before. She showed me that hair. She showed me that she was genuine. She showed me that she really liked me. Not just because of me or my car or naturally or how I'm talking or how I look. But she liked it like me, my soul. Once I realized that, because remember, I didn't like her. Once I realized that, and the type of girl she is, she would make an amazing wife, an amazing mom. She's a, amazing. I never met a female like her so genuine. Because I thought, I was I was like him, man. All girls the same. I'm putting all this energy out, boom, boom. But I was chasing type of girl. So I stopped chasing. I let, it, I let it come to me. And that was his moment where she came to him. Simple. I'm not saying... He never gonna have another moment, but he gotta work on himself mentally, man, as a man, bro. Feel me? Don't get it twisted. I'll be up here laughing, cracking jokes, whatever. But I'm very wise, bro. People try to get on me because certain words. I might stutter. I might jump. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody perfect. I'm really, uh, I'm really from like nothing, like the bottom. Like I didn't grow up. I talk like this because I didn't grow up in that environment to talk like, not saying I can't learn it or can't do it. That's something I got to work on personally, but you know what I'm saying? People be in the comments talking crazy, but I just let people talk, man. I just be like, look, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, Kel, man. Comment down below how y'all feel about the situation. Yeah, I'm going to just stop it right there, man. It's your boy, Kel, man. Peace.